Well, we're having a little bit of a dilemma on the ship. <laughs> I think this is probably one of the prettiest cruise ships we've been on. Yeah. This is us without a Key West plan. And now we're just enjoying the view. Yeah, uh, this is a really old tree. Um, it's been here for probably a while. Did you get down? Yeah. This is Look at all that cash. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. <laughs> 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 Good morning, handsome. How are you? Terrific, how are you? Fantastic, thank you. Here we are on our celebrity cruise. Getting your coffee this morning. It's the first morning of our cruise. And it is a glorious morning. We are in Key West, Florida. And the kids are not awake yet. I think we're gonna <laughs> get ready and go to Key West. What do you think? Love it. First, we're gonna go for our walk outside because it's beautifully sunny. And we're gonna see what what QS has to offer. It smells fishy out there though. I'm not sure why. Maybe because maybe because they're fishing. Uh oh. Which is which? I'm pretty sure. That's yours? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh, because I drink decaf my drinks regular and they look exactly That'll the same. Ruin your entire day. Well, that would be terrible. Window cleaners are cleaning the windows. It's always fun to sort of watch how the ship gets maintained, you know, mostly while we're stopped, right? Not really while we're moving, but um, the maintenance will happen when we're stopped, but then the regular cleaning in the stateroom happens when we're moving, you know? You guys, this ship, I love it. I think this is probably one of the prettiest cruise ships we've been on. I think it's so cool, and I think it's very well appointed, and I'll tell you why. Look at this. This is one of my examples. Okay, this is the pool area. Normally, on any other cruise ship, like when they have the um, chairs up along here, they just have a long, 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 long line of chairs. So if you want to get in a chair up or down, you feel like either walk sideways and get in it or pull it out, get in it, and then it's like just a long row, like a... I don't know. Here, they have these little dividers, which is awesome. They're divided into like five seats each, which is perfect for our family. But I think it's so convenient and nice because it's not, you're not in this huge long row of chairs. You get some privacy. It's divided up a bit. That's how it is on the deck too, which is really nice because oftentimes they'll just do, other cruise ships will do just long rows of chairs. So that's just one example of this ship and why I think it is very nice. We're at the port of Key West. You see the beautiful emerald green waters. And this is like the port area over there. That's really cute. You see the, I don't know if you guys can, oh. Looky, looky, looky who we ran into this morning. Ma! What? Did I mess up your video? Sorry. We decided we're gonna go take a look at the gym. We're just gonna look at it for now. We might work out in it. That's the big dilemma, you guys. Okay, the cruise ship is like, you want to be able to work out because the gym is right there and it's just so worky outy. Then also you want to be able to relax. So you only have so many mornings and you're like, okay, well, do I work out every morning or do I sleep in? Do I eat breakfast? Like, what do I do? Hey, have you guys been in here? Have you been in here? Yes, mom. Ryan, this is the best. This is like my favorite space. Wait, I remember it. I remember this lounge on the last one. Yes, but this is even nicer than the other one. I love the way it's decorated. All right, you guys, this is the Sky Lounge. I can't remember. I don't think I filmed this before. This is a good nighttime place. We play, we we play well, let me show you where I think I want to play Euchre. I mean, we could play at all these different tables, but yeah. first of all, Katie, look at that chandelier. Hold on. Look at that light fixture. A huge one hanging right there. Where? Right there. <laughs> is that the and best? The villain chairs? <laughs> right? I feel like Dr. Evil in this thing. <laughs> we decided this is going to be our, our place to play cards tonight. Or it's a villain chair, or it could be a. Um, be a cat. What's. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> what's his name? What's the cat? Mr. Uh, Puddlesworth or Mr. What is his name? What's, what's the what's cat's the name, cat Kate? Austin Powers. On Austin Powers. Yeah. Mr. Bigglesworth. 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 Can you face that way and then turn this way and laugh? <laughs> Go. <laughs> that was not. You need an laugh. evil laugh. I know. Ryan. I can't evil laugh without real laughing. <laughs> All right. Mom, we have to go get breakfast. So okay. We can, okay. Keep this our also could be those chairs. What's that show called? Um, this, the mass singer. Or the, no, the singer. The singer. The audience. The singer. The voice. The voice. The voice where they turn around. <laughs> So, Ryan, why don't you turn around? I'll sing, and then you can turn around and tell me how great I am. Okay, ready? Turn around. What if I don't turn around, though? Then I'll be a little offended. Ready? Here we go. Right, ready? And I will always be. 
love you. Yeah. And I will always love you. Okay. Let's go to breakfast, everybody. And I can give you guys a tour of what I eat for breakfast. On our way into the breakfast room, there's Ryan right there. Look what I found. The best... Well, not the best, the second best gingerbread house. Where's the first be best gingerbread house? Floor, yeah. Of course. But look at that. That's so cool. And all these little guys down here. I wonder if that's like people who were on the Christmas cruise did that. Probably. And they put them up. Probably. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That one's cool too. These are pretty sizable. It's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tells you where all the stuff is. That's a good idea. Oh my gosh, look at so they have American breakfast, British breakfast, or English breakfast, I guess you call it. Bread station. Alright, can we just. Alright, let's go. Little history lesson British Britain went to war for like hundreds of years for spices, and they still managed to have the worst food. <laughs> okay, and that's they a very good the spice point. Trade, and they still <laughs> eat like beans on toast. Okay. <laughs> That's a really, that's a hot there. take right there. Um, let's get breakfast. I'm so hungry. Okay. You guys took a long time over there. Well, but we were looking at all the different gingerbread houses and the menu. I need to tell you about my queer about British people. Nice. Little fruit for the breakfast. Very nice. Look how small those little uh, cantaloupes are. Everything is small. It's, a, it's so cute. That takes a lot of work. Oh, I'm going to be honest. Oh, she said at the end of the line. All right, you guys, this, <laughs> this is my favorite. This is what I look forward to on cruises is eating smoked salmon in the morning with capers. I'm so excited. Can I just get a bunch on one, please? No. All right, so this is our breakfast, at least round one. Sometimes we go for two rounds, but I'm hoping to maybe just be at one today because I can totally, like, overeat. You know mm. what I mean? This is really good. Oh, is that chocolate bread or cinnamon? It's like babka or something. It's it chocolate. It's like the stuff we had when we went to um, Club, Med. Club Med. Or even the Pantone or Pantanette, whatever, the Italian mm. stuff we had for Christmas. All right, so would you like to give us a little tour of your breakfast? I would. This is cold oatmeal. Called something Mucilate. sophisticated. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sophisticated. Blueberries, apples, pineapple, walnuts. Nice. Then over here we have salmon, smoked salmon with capers and a lemon. And we have some oranges. We have this chocolate bread and then this chocolate croissant. Fantastic. I have a grilled tomato, which you only ever get on cruises. I never make them at home. I make those on Hay Day. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll buy some from you, but I'm not on Hay Day. And this is Katie's croissant <laughs> that she used my real estate for. This is my salmon and capers. And I have some blueberries and bananas. The problem is the blueberries. I thought they were going to be fresh blueberries. They are, but they're also like in some kind of... Um, marinade. And marinade, exactly. Some kind of I just want to say, I've come a long way in um, cruise breakfast. Okay. I used to get 17 Mickey waffles, three chocolate croissants, like. Basically a plate of bread. Of, yeah, basically this a plate of bread, bread and syrup. No, it's not. Eggs, bacon, potatoes. It's all the same color except for the two fruit. potatoes. <laughs> two potatoes. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not flaming you. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just going through what you have. Two potatoes. Okay. Well, sorry. I don't some, like. I no, don't just eat, I'm not like, flaming you. The earth. You're I'm, just eating. I'm the just earth. explaining what you have on your plate, you goofball. And honeydew melon. Good job. And the all right, all right. Good job, Ryan. Eggs. That good looks job, good, baby doll. Ryan. I just want to say I can't walk. <laughs> you have come along. Here's my breakfast. I this got a meal with all the stuff. protein. Yeah. So this isn't a typical meat plate. Um, there's a lot of fruit, a chocolate croissant, and uh, blueberry yogurt. Uh, just because my stomach was kind of kicking this morning, so I'm like, all right, I'll just put something easy on my plate. And usually when I'm on vacation, it's like good to eat fruit and stuff off rip, so you feel good for the rest. Yeah. So I'll get my protein in for, uh, for lunch, and, lunch and dinner for sure. Well, the good news is, yeah, if you're hungry a little later, you just go get food. Essentially. These are oranges, honeydew. Pineapple, cantaloupe, chocolate croissant. Bon appetit. Thank you. But, um, Thank we you. got... Now Ryan and I are lounging in this really cool lounge, like, round thing, digesting our breakfast and looking out. Look at the... Look what we're looking at. Nina, Nina. 
There's our feet. Why don't you take a picture of our feet? <laughs> Mom. Katie and I decided to take it to the workout room. Starting a workout plan early. Not even the new year, we are on it. Mike and Brennan are taking the opportunity to look. We, had, we haven't gotten off the boat yet. A lot of people have. It's quarter of 12. But we've done a workout. We went to breakfast, all that stuff. And now we're just enjoying the view. It's starting to get nice and warm. It's gorgeous, but I do think we're gonna go off here. We're gonna try to get off and maybe run mopeds or bikes. I'm not sure that might be a little bit um, aggressive, but we'll see. Katie and Ryan are back in the room. So do you think they were... Oh yeah, I see on the left side too. So you think they were bored and then they just got pushed in by Gabe Davis is due for a touchdown. Here's the door. No, this is the problem. What? We are in our room and we just can't seem to get out. Everybody's like we're sort of in, messing around doing this. West. Right. I my fantasy team is in the championships right now. I'm playing against Andrew Nolak. It's the team name of Andrew Nolak. Okay, hold on. Alright. Do we need it? I'm playing against Andrew. Okay. All right, so this is the deal. We're in, oh, sorry. So we have connection in Key West because it's still USA. So I need to get on, edit my fantasy team, make sure uh -huh. it's all ready for Sunday. Oh, I see. And then get off. Because once we leave here, oh, they just went right back by again. So once we leave Key West, we're going to be out of the country. So our Wi-Fi, we, we have Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work as well. We only have the basic package. We're not, we don't want to get all that fancy stuff because we'd rather just enjoy the vacation so he, we will be able to connect but um, I think we'll still be able to send texts and emails I think but posting might be a little bit difficult if, once, once we get out of the country so here we are we just can't get ourselves out of the room because there's like so many fun things to do but Brennan I think is changing right now and then we're going to go into Key West last time we were here we rented bikes so much fun but look at all the boats going by Alright, a quick bite to eat before we go off the ship. This is what I chose. Probably shouldn't have because it's pasta, but it looks good, doesn't it? Oh. Alright, that little pasta appetizer was not enough for the boys, so now it's time for burgers. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, burgers are like protein technically, but you think strong people would eat them? I don't think so. Oh, what do they eat? Chicken and steak. Oh, so should you be eating a burger? Don't Look it, there's turkey here, turkey burger. That looks good. All right, Brett or Ryan, should we share our fact about a hot dog? Talk back about a hot dog. Yeah, when our friends. Oh, oh no. no. Nope. You how don't want to know. How to say out of mind. Okay, you don't want to know about hot dogs. No, they're <laughs> an American tradition. Love them. Okay. That's all you need to know. <laughs> they are an American tradition. Then lay down on a chair. <laughs> Thanks, burgers. And nice buns. <laughs> we are waiting in line to get off the ship, and these guys are eating their meal. Look, we gotta put it down over here. This is our line. Ryan, do you want this before I put it down? No, yes? Oh my gosh. without a Key West plan. We just got off the boat. We were gonna rent bikes, not sure. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we have about four hours. So we could do kind of a lot of stuff. All right, you guys, we, we did the deal. We're renting five bikes. We're gonna bike around Key West. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. 
bikes. This is what we decided to do today. Hopefully we make it back. Yeah, uh, this is a really old tree. Um, it's been here for probably a while. And uh, <laughs> it's just a little stop. Okay. We rented bikes though, do you tell them? Yeah, rented bikes. We rented bikes, we're gonna go uh, down to one of our favorite little streets and uh, maybe hit the beach, maybe get a little bite to eat, who knows? Exactly. Yeah, Come along for the adventure, we have no cool. idea what's gonna happen. Exactly. video when we were here. But there it is. There's a huge line of people waiting to get their picture taken, so we're not going to wait in that line. We're going to keep on keeping on. There's Brennan and Ryan, though. Trying to get in. What's the song? What's the song? What? How's it going? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, the... No, no, no. On the Titanic. Oh, wait. We'll go on. No, we'll go on. Are you Titanic? You mean Titanic? Oh. I've got news this and what's it's galore. Thing about? I got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Where's Captain Terry? I know, he's like up there. So you guys, if you watched any of our vlogs, when I hope you can hear me, I did not bring my microphone thing, so I apologize about the wind. But anyway, um, when you wa if you watched our vlogs when we went last this last March on the Key West sailing trip, Captain Terry was our captain. We still stay in touch with him. Um, he just texted us the other day that he's going to be in Key West. We're like, we're going to be in Key West too. So we're going to try. We tried to get to, to have lunch with him today or take him out to lunch, but he is in Isla Morada, which is a key up the thing. And I'm not sure if he's working or what he's doing, but he wasn't able to join us for lunch. So anyway, Captain Terry, we miss you dearly. We can't wait to see you again. We know we'll sail together again at some point. He was such a dear. We love meeting people along the way. We stay in touch with a lot of people. As a matter of fact, one of our servers from the Disney Magic, one of our first Disney Magics, Alex. Hello, Alex. We still stay in touch with her. Like, it's it's so much fun to meet people around. So, anyway, this is our, uh, this is the, not our pier, the pier at Key West. I don't know if it's the only pier. I've never been here before, but we kind of happened upon it, and it's very, very cool.
to meet the coach. <laughs> we are. It's we, miles long. Right, go. <laughs> we have stopped okay, to do know. some um, yeah. to do some shopping, and the Kong train is revving up, but we got to beat him out. Okay, so we went and I got some face cleanser. I needed a charger because I brought the wrong phone charger, and I forgot to get that. But anyway, we're gonna head back to the ship. I think. Take our bikes back. This has been an amazing day in Key West. Ah, totally fun. Out and about. Love it. Love riding the bikes. There they are. Where's Ryan? Oh, good. There he is. I was talking the Kino store, which is a Key West. Key West staple for us. Look, it's a cute little hair tie. It's made out of the Kino's leather. So if you guys don't know what Kino's is, uh, they pretty much make all of these, like flip flops and slippers and all of these. They make them all right here in this factory. They're back there making them now. I have, I think three pairs now of Kino's and all different colors. They're pretty much a Key West staple and they, and they only make them here. This is actually such a cute key It chain. is cute, it's but, adorable. Um, yeah, so they also look, there's like little hair clip things. Mm -hmm. So Kate's and getting the white one. one Yay! All right, let's go pay the lady. Okay. Our day in Key West has come to an end. We are walking back to the ship. We did a little shopping. And Brennan, Brennan, oh, Brennan has his bag. He did a little shopping too. See right there. We don't want to be. No, don't touch me. <laughs> I don't like anybody touching me. They're like Aunt Wendy. She doesn't like Watch to be out, touched. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, I missed it, you guys. I wanted to film us going up the elevator. Sometimes we get the shot, sometimes we don't. Well, I never care we're forward. Where go. Are you we're sure? forward. Eight forward. Yes, that's where we okay. are. Okay. Okay. Well, we're having a little bit of a dilemma on the ship. And this is the dilemma. I hope that this doesn't get copyright for the music. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna keep talking loud and I might have to put music under it so we'll talk really loud. <laughs> so our dilemma is this, any other time that we've gone on a cruise, the kids have been of age where they could go to, for lack of a better word, the kids club or the teen club or whatever. They inevitably, they would go the first day, they'd meet a ton of friends and then they'd travel around as a pack around the ship the whole time. Ryan, however, never really had the guts to go to the, kids club for his age so he always tagged along with Mike and I which is totally fine but Brennan and Katie would make friends they still talk to these days like they still stay in touch with online to this day and every single cruise we've gone on like so they have tons of friends that way now Ryan has enough guts to actually go to the club but won't go to the club because he wants to hang out with Brennan and Katie and Brennan and Katie are too old to go to the teen club so they are having trouble meeting friends what I'm fine with going to the kids club, but I don't know. It's just not my thing, you know? Okay. It's really not. Okay, that's fair. It's all, and it really, we plan these trips, what, to hang out with family. All right, exactly. So. That's totally fine. But Brendan and Katie are looking to make friends, and they want to spend New Year's with friends like they've done in every other cruise before, or like, even when we go on cruises with our extended family, of course they hang out with the extended family, but then they meet friends and they all go in this big pack. Well now it's just been Brennan, Katie, Ryan, Mike and I, which I love, but I know that it pains them because the two of them are so social. Ryan's social too, but he's like totally fine hanging out with Brennan and Katie because he never sees them because they're in school now. But Brennan and Katie are dying and they love us too, but they're dying to meet friends and like hang out with friends and do it like it's been done in years before. So anywho, now Mike and Ryan and I are hanging out at this place called the Sky Lounge. It's beautiful. We're going to play some cards. And I think Brennan and Katie are going to come meet us, but I feel bad for them because really they're like this age where there's nothing going on for them. Some other cruise ships I've noticed would have like a young adult get together so they can all meet each other. I'm going to totally make that recommendation. Not that they'll do anything about it, but it's always good to make a recommendation, get your voice heard. So I'm going to go to guest services in a few and, and make that recommendation. Even if they just put something in the 
like the daily thing that just says young adults meet at Sky Lounge at you know 10 o'clock or whatever. It doesn't matter. They don't have to do anything. They just say it for that to happen and then they'll take care of itself. But anyway, that's what's going on now. Oh, sorry. Jeez. All right, this is our new game that we got for Christmas. Left, right, center. Here we go. Left, hot. What? So I know how many nice people. Yeah, totally. Oh my gosh! This is the way it works. Mommy wins! Mommy wins! Mom's the big winner. Right, Ryan won the first one. I won the second one. Yeah, exactly, Mike. I can't lose three. Alright, so now. This is Look at all that cash. So now mom's gonna put her own $3 in. Back in a pot. Wait, why does he get three? What? No, because I'm because i not the last one that won. Thank you, Dad. Ryan has cash. Keep it loose. Yeah. No, I put my own three. No. I, just, I yeah. just put my own three down. <laughs> She's lying. She did. No, I did. Count no, no, them. One. Oh my god. We had that. Oh, my hat's on crooked. We had such a good time playing left set. Oh, I think I actually bent it. Look at. I won, Ryan won, and Brennan won. We played three games of left, right, center. It was very exciting. Now we're going to go get ready for dinner and then have a great night. <laughs> Apparently, Brennan or Katie and Dad beat us to the room because we got off the elevator at the same time. Oh, the Brennan's we went together. Too, Is Brennan sleeping too? Yeah, oh my so, gosh! So Guess who's oh. gonna get in the room first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, wow. oh. I got a really nice nap in there. <laughs> So we are at dinner, and I just show. I'm going to show you the menu. And Brendan and Katie and Ryan are on their way up. But Mike and I got dressed and made it here in time. I'm very excited about my dinner. I I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to have yet, but I do think that for my appetizer, I'm going to have the scallops and maybe a little bit of salad. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, I got the light on again. All right, you guys, we just finished dinner. We had a lovely, lovely, lovely conversation about our most embarrassing moments. We talked about current issues. What? Intrusive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts again. We had a great dinner. We had great Yes, it's all good. So we are on our way, um, I think, out. We're going to try the casino. High rollers, baby. to deck five this is like when you walk outside we're down under this is one of our favorite places to be and it's the first time we've been here on this cruise it is you just stand here on the deck outside it's not very windy because we're not way up high and just listen to the ocean listen to that you guys Mike and I are leaving the disco now and <laughs> that was so much fun. We did not. I will, Michael. I will. We did not dance, but we definitely just stopped in to see what it was all about, and it was very cool. I think Brennan and his posse are on the way up now. So you know, I told you earlier about our dilemma on the ship. Well, as it turns out. Katie has met a whole bunch of people, Ryan has met a whole bunch of people, and Brennan has met a whole bunch of people since we last spoke. So that was really good, and I'll, I'm, look, I'm going down to, uh, Katie's in bed now, but I'm going to go down to her room and find out how it all went. And we will maybe find out what made her happy day. What made you happy day, babe? Hanging with you. Yeah? Yes. This morning Me was too. a very nice day. Yes, I got a chance to work out this morning. I ran for the first time in a long time, and it worked out beautifully. And so I was happy to work out in gorgeous weather. Key West was so much fun. We just, I'm happy that the kids found friends and I won in Left Right Center. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So we'll see if we don't get other people's what made them happy today. Comment down below what made you guys happy today and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, all these crazy lights by the well, elevator. Oh, look at that. Down. I don't think we're gonna, look, it's a very full elevator. So um, just in case, Come down below, make you guys happy day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I caught up with Brennan. Whoops, Brennan. That's Brennan and Katie. 
You guys are snuggling in. Are you gonna watch? Did you guys watch Ghosts last night? What'd you watch? It's not on TV. Oh no. What'd you watch? Victorious. Oh. 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 Oh.